My name is Mike Pavlagas. I'm an old retired baker, but I still bake bread. And uh, I want to show you how I make a loaf of bread. I've been going out to the Cooper since uh, the late 1960s. And an old rover go, gave me this old camp oven and I still use it. Although the lid's broken, I bought a new camp oven and the lid fits on it uh, perfectly, so I'll use that today. So anyhow, I'll get stuck into this. Uh, I've got two teaspoons of salt. Stir that in. And I've got 40 grams of lard. I use lard, but you don't have to. You, you, you can use margarine or uh, butter or whatever you like. Uh, I use lard because my old mates, uh, they were old drovers and that, and uh, they said the only thing they had to make dampers out of was a bit of dripping or a bit of lard or something like that. They never had, uh, they never had margarine or butter. So I've always used lard. And I, and I really like it. I think it uh, does a great job. But it's up to you. Okay, I'll just break that lard up a bit. I've activated the yeast here, as you can see. Two teaspoons of yeast in 300 mils of water with a teaspoon of sugar. I put a teaspoon of sugar in just to get it going. And as you can see, it's uh, it's going nice. So I'll throw that in, and I'll get another 300 mils of water. Okay, should be right. I'll bring this together and then I'll, I'll tip it out on a bench and finish mixing it. Uh, most people have got a bowl with them when they're out in the bush. And, you know, and then you can throw it out on the table. I'll get my hands in it in a minute once it comes together. It just saves you, saves you getting your hands uh, from the start. Oh, that's pretty good. It's handy to have a scraper. Uh, you know, keep your, keep everything, keep your hands clean. Okay, keep some flour handy. I'll just get a feel of the consistency. You don't want it too sticky, and you don't want it too tight either, you know. And what you've got to remember too, in the winter time, you want to keep the dough warm. The ideal temperature of a dough, uh, when you finish mixing it, is around 25 degrees Celsius. That's ideal. If you can keep it around 25 when you finish mixing it, you're not far from the money, because yeast is a living thing and, and if you get the yeast too hot you will kill it and if it gets too cold well it's not going to work either no it's not too bad I don't think no get away with that okay now as you can see uh, you know my hands are not a mess I can live with that so I'll just get into this and just keep some flour handy. All you need to do is just cover your hands like that. Pick up all the little bits, wrap it around. Okay. And then we'll just cut it into three. Just cut it into three like that. Get stuck into it. Stuck into it. I'm not going to go to too much, because when you're out in the bush, you know, you're not making bread to win a competition. It's just so you can have something to put a bit of cold meat on, or a bit of jam, or golden syrup. Bring them together. Same thing. Just keep going with this.
Yeah, they used to make me make the bread all the time and the dampers. I'll do another video later on. Uh, just a basic damper. How the old, my old Groven mates used to make them. They're funny old blokes. They're great around the campfire, you know, telling yarns and uh, go all night. That's coming up pretty good. Happy with that. Not too bad. Not too bad for an old fella. <laughs> you can really, you know, you can tear it and get stuck into it. Because what you want to try and do is develop the gluten. If you haven't got baker's flour, you can use plain flour, but it hasn't got the protein level in it, plain flour. So it just won't kick as much when you bake it, but who cares when you're out in the bush, you know? You know that'll do because, like I said, we're just making some bread for the uh, camp oven. So I'm going to put a bit of flour around this, put it in a dish, probably leave it at so an hour and a half. Okay, so I'm back now. Uh, it's risen up nice, as you can see. I don't know if I mentioned it at the beginning, but I use one kilo of baker's flour. But you can use plain flour if you like. It doesn't matter. It will still turn out all right. It's just that baker's flour will kick a little bit more for you. So all I'm going to do is run a bit of flour around the edges, just around the edges, to get this out. And then I'll put a little bit on the table, just a bit on the table like that, not too much. Then I'll go down the edges, down the edges, all the way around, all the way around, and you get all the way. Now I'll just tip it straight out, like so. You can see, there's nothing left. Just a bit of flour in my hand. Just a little bit of flour. Take the gas out of it. I think I was making a pizza. But anyhow, this is all I'm going to do, and you can do this too. You just bring it to the center, fold it, bring it to the center, bring it to the center, Bring it to the center and to the center. Turn it over and then you can shape it up. So I've greased the uh, my old camp oven and we'll put it in there and let it rest. Just level it out. Just level it out so you know it's reasonably level. Let it let it do its own thing like that. So I'll, I'll cover this again and probably leave it about an hour, at least an hour, and then I'll check on it. And then we'll uh, take it down and put it on the coals. Okay. Hi, I'm just checking on the coals down here. Just give them a little bit of a stir up. This old blacksmith forge is great for, for coals and for wood too. I use it all the time. This is ready to go in now. I've had to change things downstairs a bit because it's starting to rain. So I've gone undercover. But anyhow, I'll just put a bit of a, a little cut Cross here. That should do. I'll sprinkle a little bit of flour on it. Now that should that should be right. Now I'll take it down and uh, put it on the coals. So I'm just checking on the bread now, and I'll show you one of my little tricks. You might already know it, but anyhow. If the bread's getting a little bit dark on top, 
I just put a couple of sheets of newspaper over the top. And that'll stop that area getting too dark. So hopefully that'll work out okay. I'll just check this bread, see how it's going. It should be right, I think. Oh, that looks good. That's looking good. Nice, that's nicely baked. Looks good. The hardest thing is getting the coals right, uh, I found. I've got about, what, two, four, six, eight, about nine coals down there, and about 22 on the top. So that, that seemed to work out all right. Uh, I'm pleased with that. I'll just cut this now, just to see what it's like. Oh, there you go. That's not too bad. That took about an hour to bake. So, steam coming off it. So, that's very nice. I'm, uh, that's, that's really nice. Yep, beautiful. So, if you like what I showed you, uh, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, as I will be putting more recipes up. Thank you very much. Goodbye.